this is Artifacts of Mars again, and there's update number three. I found this story rather interesting. Did uh, an art I did a video about um, Comet Lovejoy having alcohol and uh, a simple type of sugar on it. So now let's take a look at the Rosetta Commons 67P. They found free oxygen on this comet. A lot of oxygen. In theory, that shouldn't be, right? See, oxygen has a valence of plus two, which means that basically it is hungry all the time for electrons, and so it bonds very quickly and easily to other elements. Well, so, generally speaking, free oxygen is rarity. At least it's supposed to be. So how is it this comet has a lot of free oxygen on it? Well, once again, these scientists haven't figured that out. There's life on it. Probably some sort of cyanobacteria or something like that. Some simple organic form of life that uh, it's capable of photosynthesis and can release oxygen. The article says it has a lot of oxygen on it. You know, this is similar in many respects to uh, the Comet Lovejoy situation. It does not sound that spectacular, but it actually is the most surprising discovery we have made so far out of the comet, one of the researchers. Oxygen is highly reactive, meaning it likes to bond to other kinds of atoms, therefore it was previously thought that all oxygen present in the dominant solar system would have combined with an abundant hydrogen present time formation to all or water. You rocks. They can't be this stupid. Somehow, and I don't know how, there's life on this thing. And probably every time it visits the sun, it gets close, that life wakens and produces oxygen. That's all this is. But I don't know why these idiot scientists can't figure this out. That Comet Lovejoy, I am really stinging over that because, uh, you know, like oxygen, alcohol has to be produced by biological processes. Mainly. Like all objects in the solar system, Comet 67P has been hit with this high energy radiation for billions of years, but it's unlikely to radiate and explain all the oxygen in the comet. Researchers said high, high energy particles from the sun will penetrate only a few minutes meters in the comet's surface, at each time the comet orbits the sun, sheds between 1 and 10 meters from its circumference. It's some kind of bacteria, more than likely, I would say. But these idiot scientists will never figure it out, and they'll never, or they'll never admit it, I don't know which. It's just beyond belief. It's called life, people. Life, L-I-F-E. Sheesh. 